Greetings again. I see you come back. What is wrong with you? We haven't left like here for years. Do you like to torment yourself? Well, if so... Okay, we'll go with you. It's time for another film or whatever. Uh, Glenn or Glenda is going to be this week. That's a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, I enjoy would. it. It's a classic. It's an anti-classic with lots of buffalo I and cross-dressing. That doesn't make any sense. Exactly. It's not. It's true. not supposed to. Yeah, nothing makes sense in this movie. It is no. Bella Lugosi. Yes, yes, it does. I love Bella Lugosi. I don't think he loved himself when this was happening. I think he keeps <clears throat> telling people how to, like, take out tampons because he keeps yelling, pull the string. So... But feminine hygiene all the side, we'll start with our introductions right over here. Lance Strongarm. <laughs> Lance Strongarm. Nifty. Yep. The immortal Lance Armstrong. And the big C. It's Strongarm. From the Coca-Cola sign, not dick joke. but The big C, always here. And me, pacifistic warthog. I'm Smellborg Hamhawk. As lively as ever. And now we will take it to... Our movie expert, who will tell us about this film. Hold on to your granny panties, ladies, because Smellborg Hamhawk is about to turn your delicate loins from a Saharan wasteland to a drenching tropical paradise with this installment of Trapped in the Corner. Hello! Welcome to Dust Might Movie Night. I don't know how you got in here. And tonight we're going to be watching, let me flip this around, Glenn or Glenda. You can zoom in on this, one of you, I don't care who. We're breaking the fourth wall. Fun times. Um, this was a film that, uh, it's really bad, but it has Bella Lugosi in it, and he's fucking crazy, so that'll be good. Uh, it also stars Mr. Ed Wood himself as Glenn or Glenda. Here's the box again. Um, as far as the movie goes, it was surprisingly progressive for the time, especially dealing with cross-dressing as it does in the 1940s, when we still had to deal with good old-fashioned family-friendly racism. Um, it actually does touch on a few real cases, but the names are changed, thankfully. Um, the story really picks up after some policemen find a dead cross-dresser who had apparently committed suicide because they were tired of being shunned by the world. And then it goes in from there as to how the psychology of the person cross-dressing or transvestite, as they were called back then, kind of gets them into that mindset of, I don't feel right in this body, so I'm going to dress the way I feel I should dress. Um, that said, it's an Ed Wood film with a needle-addicted Bella Lugosi. So really, what can you expect besides it being absolutely awful? But you signed up for it. So here we go. Let's watch. I'm over it. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> It's nice and warm. And now we will begin our entertainment for the oh, evening. Oh, I'm supposed to be back. Okay, I'm not over it. We're going to watch the movie. We're going to have fun. And we're going to watch a man cross-dress for an hour. And I'm, then whip people. I'm going to and be filled with strange feelings. Yes, very and strange don't feelings. don't forget the guy with the strange eyebrows. Oh, I love the man with the strange eyebrows. Let's do it. Should I? Should I not? What do you want me to yeah, do? Come here? on, let's be interfaced. <clears throat> Just have to realize you print out the lyrics to rap songs but turn them into proper English and have him read them kind of like the death metal spoken word guy does. I do it. Yeah, but do it with rap and make it proper English. Like, for example, Riding dirty, it would be like the police see me driving my vehicle and it was better than theirs. Yes. <laughs> They're super angry. So they pull me over, trying to catch me with narcotics. 
<laughs> Catch me <laughs> with narcotics. <laughs> Catch me <laughs> with narcotics. <laughs> the, ins the interior of my vehicle looks like peanut butter. The exterior of my vehicle is painted purple to look like jelly. <laughs> There's we're, seven days we're just waiting to get past the And I have seven people. different shovelings. <laughs> a, a little closer. In the making of this film, which deals with the strain of curious, don't walk in front of me. No punches have been pulled. No easy way out has been taken. Many of the small chips. parts are portrayed by. Per, God damn it. <laughs> Don't judge the weird shit that's happening! Oh, I will totally judge. I'm telling the audience. I know. I know what you're doing. In case they can't read, you, he's being the radiator. You freaky, freaky bastards. Yes, the radiator. By all means, judge <laughs> Bell Lugosi. Because he was out of his mind on drugs. I like that Teletubby antenna. Judge Bell Lugosi. For he did not know. Is that attached to it? Oh, nope, it's not attached to his head. Oh, no, he, no, he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. The needle habit had wrecked his brain. And he needed more money for needle. No, he's Man. sprouty. <laughs> <laughs> he is officially a cow Can we pop this just a scooch? A little, yeah. Because to really, to really appreciate what's happening here, you yeah. need to hear the weird shit he says. And on top of that, our dude needs it to sink it. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Unfortunately, I don't person's not here. I think he'd love this. Sparkling. Oh, Lord. Because they seem new. Okay. Wait. Tell me oh, more about the children of the night and the beautiful music new. they sing. The signs of the age. Okay. Ah! That came from nowhere. I wonder no, if that hit that Teletubby run behind him. No, listen, he finally became a fourth level wizard and got access to it. Right. So he's an is it player. Yes. I mean, yeah, you can make the argument. I was going for a D&D &D joke. No, okay. No, it's okay. They don't always <laughs> land. <laughs> but still, he used up a second spellbook slot for lightning. If you mix enough Drano with enough bleach. <laughs> if you mix enough NyQuil with DayQuil, maybe, you create the Quill. Maybe I can inject this quill. Tonight. Would you like to know what Quill does? <laughs> it makes you lean. <laughs> what it does is all the time, all the time. Yeah. Well, motherfucker. I back won the bag. It, it fell towards me. Okay, I will collect yeah. my prize. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, finger dip there. Some kind of hummus. Roasted garlic. It's pronounced hummus. <laughs> yeah, it's like a flat. I've never tried it, so this is a new thing for me. I can leave it up to the table. Try and. Well, since you've never tried it, I've never tried it. We're going to feebly attempt this one. Let's see here. What do we got here? Looks like beans and sesame seeds. Smells like popcorn shrimp. Ah! Anal beads. People. See, what people don't realize is this is what Lugosi did every day the rest of his life. Just fucking. Hallucinating? Yeah. Oh, Looking over thoughts. people. Oh, well, yes, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that he oh, wasn't playing he was Dracula. He was actually Dracula, and he could just like I guess. he could just so astral project pickly. himself oh, over populations yeah. of civilization, and just overlook them and say weird bullshit. That's what he did. That, that's that's that what he was about. Yeah. That and heroin. <laughs> Lots of heroin. I don't want that job. Oh my god! You don't want the heroin job? Mm, no. Okay. I don't like needles, man. More heroin for me. Uh, uh sir, you drink heroin? I probably do. Out of a bong? I've done drugs. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, you seem like the type. Yeah. yeah. To do that, uh, demon weed. Yeah. I know back in the day, me and my buddies would always, like... No, I my... don't condone this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we would take a lighter and a cellophane, and Justin could edit this out later, but we would take these 
Fuck uh, editing it out. Yeah, we yeah, would leave take it the Xanax it. bars and Ooh. smash them up and then roll our bud in them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would put them in the bong and smoke them. Again, we do not condone this. <laughs> Oh, Unless you're really ISIS. <laughs> ISIS has good insurance. <laughs> oh, sorry, the movie started. Okay. Somehow. Hmm. We just found Ed Wood like this. That is. Did Dracula stop pondering? Let me see that note. Uh, for now. Okay. Shit. Now, don't worry. We're going to see him yeah, several more times. On my legs. And holy shit. shit. This dude's yeah, over here pushing brown on my foot. <laughs> oh, so when he does it, it's fine, but when I do it, it's like, please, sir, you have to leave. This is a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me! <coughs> We're trying to put the fun in view. In life, I must continue wearing them. Therefore, it would only be a matter Little of Little Barney Fife in the background there. Next to next. You're more than welcome to try if you ever Holy want to. Holy Racer my body rest in death forever. Yeah. That is definitely a different taste. It is. It's not. What is it? It's pumice. Pumice. Oh, I love pumice. Pumice is good. <laughs> Inspector Warren is going to be a Now, if well, this yeah, was no, about 30 it. years later, this man would be plowing another man <laughs> right in the brown end. Look at the mustache. Look at the mustache. Like That's who he'd be plowing in the burner. Yeah. Thank you. The old gentleman. That's hot. I feel like he would be more of a bottom. Mm. Right. Really? Uh, very busy man, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, it's a dominant <laughs> thing, dude. That yeah, other guy yeah. just exudes it. Hmm. Yeah. Business He's like, I'm gonna bite your neck as hard as I can while I read it. Looking, looking at his hairline now. Years. Little known fact, you can tell if somebody's a top and bottom by looking at the hairline. There is for a policeman to see. That dude looks like Gomez Adams. And <laughs> <laughs> we all know Morticia <laughs> wore the pants inside that bed. <laughs> <laughs> what else did she wear inside that bed? <laughs> there is beyond a strap on. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. There yes, is what, so but what level of strap on are we talking about? The, like the strapless variety? That she, we're talking she about the kind of in there, or did she go full big Jim Slade and just <laughs> no? We're talking about the kind that's attached to chainsaw engines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the fun kind? <laughs> no, it's it's called the Great American Challenge. And that's a thick as my fist. <laughs> this type of case comes to me as. Well, it's yourself. Lord. It's a, it's a real, it's a real dildo, month. by the way. The the yeah, suicide. it is. I think it should be called the Mike the Suicide Special. And then they got those you know, horse looking ones that like ejaculate themselves. Of of you. How do you know about that one? Yeah, I've <laughs> seen some shit on it. Oh, yeah, oh, I, I bet you have. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you have. It's kind of weird when what you're just you scrolling through U-Porn to, to, to see something. I don't know if we should be talking about this particular. There might be children listening. We're a bit off topic from the movie. They haven't gotten into it yet. When you see a horse dick attached to a man, you're like, what the fuck? And you click on it out of curiosity. And then it all goes downhill from there. <laughs> I still remember Bubble Girl. Bubble Girl was amazing. You don't talk shit about Bubble Girl. So anyway, they're discussing this transvestite woman who murdered herself. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the thing that's happening now. What lives matter? <laughs> no lives matter. We are all equally worthless in the eyes of the unfeeling the best. Where do men of medical science use for a man who wears women's clothing? Yes. Yes, in cold technical language, that's the word. As unfriendly and as vicious as it may sound. Yes, the cold is everywhere. So many good. So much ejaculate. What operation do these? They were in the space station and looked like a snow globe. Comment below, would you hang out in a snow globe? A semen snow globe. If you would hang out in a snow globe, please like, comment, subscribe. Yes. If 
you got a ticket to the International Space Station, but the stipulation was you had to circle jerk. Would you stay there? I thought you guys wanted subscribers. You do! Oh, we're appealing to the really creepy side of YouTube yeah. here. Which is the festering anus of let's, YouTube. Let's be real about 80%. Child yeah. man. Holy oh, shit, I am. This is for those who like to watch like turtle porn on YouTube. Only the <laughs> you gotta get the shell clack in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we got, we got to see. What? Man. I hate to ask. Surprise me. Don't, don't make it thick and watery like the last one, though. Speaks the words of the Almighty. Okay. Only another geriatric old man. That geriatric old man kicked Van Helsing's ass a couple times there, sister. He was a legend. He was, but now he's just crazy. And supposedly his mirror is incredibly haunted. Yes. Yes. What's incredibly haunted? Uh, Bella Lugosi's mirror. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they say it's keeping in the spirit of seminal fluid. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's um, probably seminal fluid on Bella Lugosi's mirror. <laughs> no, um, you can actually, get, if in Nevada, you can go to the Zach Bagan Tommy Museum and check it out. And apparently, yeah. uh, when he died, like, because he was Dracula for so this is, and this is just a story, obviously, I can't confirm or deny it. But because he played Dracula for so long, that was such a One dark role. They think that when he died, like, that darkness had nowhere to go, and so it went to the mirror and became trapped there. And you can supposedly see, like, an evil, like, bat-like spirit in it. You can tell it's glued in. That's a nice paste job. <laughs> no, it's fine. Nice and easy. Saw the glue. It's against what? the creator's will. If the creator wanted us to fly, he'd have given us wings. I do have wings, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Maybe some of you may still remember an even sillier remark. Okay. Automobiles? So basically the guy's like, hey, look, the people have been progressing and there's been dipshits who've been like, we don't need to progress. Now let me go find my sister wife and do stuff to her. Exactly. I would kill to have one of those cars. I gotta go like those find my bride child. Man. Now see, I, w I was half certain you were going to say I wish I had one of those sister wives. <laughs> to breathe that <laughs> heavily <laughs> polluted <laughs> city air back in the day? Oh my god, I bet it smelled like nature. gasoline and all the chips. <laughs> you, know the way the, you know the way air's supposed to smell? <laughs> where, the, where the fuck did you get onion chips from? There was a lot of street vendors back then, man. <laughs> Burning onions somewhere in that village. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he needs a to be born. I wonder what gauge that is. Keep in mind, this was in a time when guys would wear like three different coats to keep in the stank. Because yeah. we didn't have deodorant yet. Are we sure? Nature makes mistakes. It's proven every day. This person is a transvestite. A man who is more comfortable wearing... So there's Ed Wood in a wig. The term transvestite is the Me, name given by medical scientists to those actor, persons who wear producer, the clothing of the editor. opposite sex. Yeah, that is actually Ed Wood. He was a, he was a crossdresser. You know, he wrote porn in the late the stages. Of the you know, that doesn't surprise me. He wrote gay porn. That doesn't surprise me. Telling you, man, we should get the porn business. Dress, sweater, and a skirt. Now, I will say this. <laughs> there are no women or men that would fuck on camera besides this man. Uh, yes, sure. uh, you would be surprised if you just, you know, offered a little bit of money to a certain aspect of this uh, town we live in. They would do anything for the money to go get their thing that they want. <laughs> now, would you uh, just uh, keep your arms like this so we don't see the needle marks? Yeah. How many times have they showed the same clip of people walking by? Yeah. Well, they make Jesus it. Christ, this is the same clip. <laughs> They've got to make it look like he's walking all over the town. And there's that with real girl. Many of them simply want to change the clothes they wear. I want it. Awesome. I do. Why does his face look like Pike? <laughs> Oh, that was because uh, he was the original casting for the mask. That didn't spread. You know, I didn't smoke it. Now, <laughs> have, now, have you seen his chin? My goodness, they're almost have you seen this guy making another mask movie? Maybe even I, I didn't know that. We'll I've seen some butt chins. I think we've all seen some butt chins. His chin is practically shitting. 
That is why I have a beard. Do you have the butt chin? I have. I think you've seen me without a beard before. It's frightening. I wish we were. It is very frightening. I hid up. I hid in my parents' room for weeks. I have like this weird thing where my chin like connects with my neck in a way to where it looks like I just have a neck going up to my mouth. <laughs> Oh, I like to call it a nelf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're talking about relationship shit. Um, I think they're supposed to be getting married. I just, they were talking about their fingernails. Busy at building yeah. the modern world and its business I'm glad you were able to pick up on that. Yeah. I was trying to. I've, I've seen this movie twice. Well, this will be the third time, and this is probably the last time. <laughs> you will see it as many times as I decree. <laughs> Provided for his home when the buffalo started. Oh, yes. Don't spoil the censor that. Censor that. Don't censor that. Don't give them spoilers. It doesn't look so comfortable. Don't give them spoilers. I was popping him in the back of the head. Don't censor the smack. Censor the spoiler. I read about magnify the smack. Slow mo magnify it. That's completely black. Seven out of ten men wear a hat. Drop the fucking bass out of that. So we could totally do a video like this. Honestly. What about the lady? No budget. Yes. Modern woman is a hard-working individual, also. But when modern <laughs> woman's day of work is done, that which is designed for her own comfort, is comfort. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hats that give no obstruction to the blood flow. Hats that do not crush like, the hair. It's interesting. I see. I was hungry. It's like, isn't it? There's like a bridge like near the Just end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just for comparison. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're the native. Now, if you pay attention, you're going to see a couple white folks in there because they couldn't afford to hire more, uh, more pox. <laughs> That's sort of people of color. Find the white girl. <laughs> Can you? Wait, this is that scene from Black Hole we did, did it? One? <laughs> I don't know, man, but she is pulling some hip hop moves back in the middle. If yep, that and he's is taking her home because he knows she's that. ahead of her time. <laughs> now, when she sat down, the way her hair is, I thought she had horns. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm not going to lie. That was a style back then, man. What, horns? Yeah, like, I. You, of course, real. I don't know why, but I think it'd be cool to design back then and just walk around as a monster with the Tommy Gunn on your shoulders. There was no law preventing you from it back then. Even though its changes are slow, moves on. No I, I'm, not, I'm not certain that's true, but I don't have enough evidence to call you out on it. This shit was fucking man is man old back then. Woman is woman. What you want to snort heroin? Or yeah. this yeah, off of a clown's dick? Oh, yeah. You would snort the You do not snort yeah. heroin off of a clown's dick. Do I have to go into the hierarchy again? Yeah. My great-grandpa was telling me like stories that. when he lived like... Over in strange case New York, Glenn, who was it? He'd walk outside and there'd be like five or six guys not in pinstripe suits, nevertheless, guns on their shoulders, loaded and ready, just walking into a building and no one said a fucking thing. You know, that may have been because there were five men with fully loaded weapons. <laughs> the cops didn't even say shit, they just kept driving. They're having fun today. <laughs> Wood looks like he's got to take the most painful shit possible. I, I feel that's like that's just, just face. I, yeah, I think that's just how he looks. I was yeah. just amazed at the prices. Yeah. yeah. That dress was like a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. Halloween And that's the other thing. Uh, I'd buy it. I don't well, see, back then, on a week salary, you could go out and get a nice dinner and buy five houses. Yeah. <laughs> the economy was set to the gold standard. <laughs> <laughs> Political. And now prices have <laughs> stayed the same, but you, but you can't afford shit. Yeah, that's because they dropped the gold standard. <laughs> then one day this election year, vote for the gold standard. I want to be able to buy five houses and get a nice steak dinner. Well, our money's looking more and more European by the moment, so sink that in. Just get ready. So we're going to be like... Oh no! Hi. Hi. So listen, I'm stretching my clothes out again. <laughs> you, you bastard! I wish I had the side into such things to be able to advise you. That Sheila. is not the water cooler. That's the sex Maybe. bot. 
<laughs> it didn't even bubble. That's yeah, because that's not water. Oh, oh, will it bubble? Will it bubble? Will it bu oh, oh, oh. oh. How's come the Colligan ones always bubble and it's always <laughs> <laughs> That one's not bubbling. Because as stated previously, that's the sex bot and that's not water. It looks more like Medibot. Remember Medibot, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Dude, Dude, rules. Rules. Medibot. <laughs> I wish I knew what you were talking about. Garth Beringi's yeah, Dark Place. Like no, I was check it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. You sure it was check it out? Yep. I could have swore it was Garth Marenghi no, so I, I remember Garth Marenghi. Well, Garth Marenghi, buddy. Your skirt. Uh -huh. And make up your boot. Mm -hmm. I just threw that paper cup to show you that I mean what I'm saying. Glenn is a trans Oh, man. But he is not a homosexual. Anybody got a dollar? Transvestism is the term given by it's medical science to those persons yeah. who <laughs> desperately wish to Stick wear the it clothing to the, the opposite like sex. Belt is. Mm -hmm. Yet, whose sex life and all instances of men is quite <laughs> Would you be Pick surprised if I'm stopping wearing the pink satin? Why does it got a chocolate stain on it now? Then there is Quagmire and take it back. Who knows how to find comfort at home. I can't stand it anymore. No. That's one of those things. We have to go, to is that a cross dresser or your average Swedish woman? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding, the Swedes are very attractive people. <laughs> Except for the one. Talk about very attractive people, but like very attractive females, anyways. Yeah. Australia. <laughs> yeah. Don't go down the dark tunnel of teenage Asian women. <laughs> yeah, don't go down that tunnel. Gel bait is harder to detect in Japan than Asian. That's, uh, that's one of those things where you're not sure until they hit 60 when they immediately turn into a hunched old lady. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? We can't have positive stereotypes? Like, Japanese people can fly. <laughs> I'm just saying... <laughs> They constantly look like they're barely legal up until 60, and then on midnight of Whoa, the 60... she just jumped. Yeah, she did. Glitch. She is a, no, she's a teleporter. <laughs> Reality glitch. They jumped the way they are. That's a pretty drastic step to take. In the next cut, they're going to be wearing funny hats. <laughs> oh, if only. He's only going to wear a, a medieval cup here. Um, I think next time we do this in the spirit of the holidays coming up, we should play the famous drinking game during a movie with the Santa Claus hat on the corner of the TV. Okay. And every time this person looks like they're wearing the Santa Claus hat on the TV screen, we all have to take it. Oh my god. I know, right? For the holidays? Adam, you down? Sure. Dude, seriously. I'm in walking distance now. So. Yeah. yeah. I could, I could stumble home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pee backwards in the street. That'd be funny as shit if we got confused and you walked to my house and I walked to your house and we can't get in and I end up like going through the window or some shit. <laughs> no, but that's another suburban survivor. Yeah. We can do it spontaneously. <laughs> right? I don't remember filming this. Oh, we do. Why do I have a roommate now? <laughs> I get used to it. Mine's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'll give you... I don't know what I'll give you yet because I'm broke, but... <laughs> I'll give you an IOU. <laughs> I'll cook one dinner a month. <laughs> and it will be the best dinner to pass your lips. And I may give you a magazine out of my mail a month. And that would have the Just best page you've ever come across. <laughs> to be fair, I've seen, I've seen him cook. He pulls out some delicious looking shit. And he's got I know he went to school for it. Uh oh. And he comes up with some good Playgirl magazine. No, no. Game Informer mainly is the only magazine I get. And you may end up getting off across a page of it and making them stick together and then just be your magazine. Sorry about that. I turned you around and I elbowed him with my head. I'm sorry, buddy. So much pain. So they're, they're talking about stuff. 
Uh, he doesn't want to say, I like to wear lady clothes, because he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to get that. He's trying to get up in that, uh... Um, trying to break a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Okay! My question is... What? Damn it, Dracula. Hold the string! Snake, snake. <laughs> See, it was a game that he had, because... That he played with his uh, housemate, who always kept her tampons, but I always liked to be bottomless. So I like to go up to her and just... He's not had the marriage of power. In conclusion, or forget the marriage. Should he tell Barbara of his blender now? What hell of a red snail trail. Slug hug. Oh, we're gonna break Aaron. <laughs> Which is the worst part, because I'm the one that fucking told people about it. I know, right? <laughs> we're going to break him with his own medicine. <laughs> uh, I remember who told that to Kyle. <laughs> Fucker seized up at Snail Trail. Then we told him about Slug Hug and he damn near shat himself. <laughs> That's what he sounded like he did that. Oh, God. <laughs> he he sees his up a lot. <laughs> he's, an, he's an interesting little fucker. He is. I mean, Goddamn. Hey, you were just going to town with this I'm sure he's going to enjoy it very much. If you want to be shit for weeks. That's definitely interesting. I think it's mostly beans. Beans. I put a. I put a. Okay, so it's it's yeah. chicken peas. I'll just, I'll just put a post on Facebook in the group. Shit for days. If you if you don't know what chicken peas are, they are peas picked by chickens in a field. <laughs> well, there you have it. Learning our, something new every day. If any anybody in our audience is of the farmer variety, please tell us how right we are. <laughs> Or film the proof. <laughs> or just agree. Yeah. <laughs> I would prefer you just agree. Yes. Do not question us. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wood, you're being on the phone with that dress. For we are jackasses who put things on the internet. And all the blends and blenders. I think I'm spicing it too. A little bit. I want to know when... Paprika, I do. When good old Uncle Hophead you know, is going to start shouting about the Green Dragon? Oh yeah, that's really wonderful. Are you familiar with that? That's yes. very sweatshop. No, he starts shouting about a Green Dragon for absolutely no reason. That was his metaphor for it. Whoa, that forge just jumped. How can a guy be normal and go and do a thing like that to himself? Oh yeah. That's what it looks like when I take my pants off. It must take a lot of guts to pull a stunt like that. That's a problem I don't ever intend to face. Oh, I don't know Maybe why, but I think it would just be face. cool to learn okay, blacksmithing. Just think of the unhappy life. Just make everybody at the night. miserable time. <laughs> Play this to an art. Uh, they would want bladesmithing done. Yeah. And there's now, there's books on that. Cool. Who wanted to be a girl? Suppose there had been no you way would to need a. You probably have seen a handful. I guess I am. I've got a toilet in the country that wanted to wear women's for a clothes or felt like a woman. Not be like you're in the like doctor and watch him. Big ass cool Iron Man bowl. That's why yeah. I say. Because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man. <laughs> if you want to make a poop <laughs> knife, <laughs> by all means, try to make a poop <laughs> knife. I don't think it's gonna work. I want to make a poop I'm knife. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See you tomorrow. No, you don't. Now, is it a knife? Is it a knife for like dealing with poop, or is it a knife made of poop? Oh, I, know I like the little action that you did yeah. while saying that, <laughs> <laughs> like chopping it. Up. Yeah, listen, like so chop my poop. Up. This is a completely food-safe <laughs> knife made of no, feces. <laughs> <laughs> it is not dishwasher safe. <laughs> I mean, you can put it in there, but yeah. you're going to have to clean the mess. Your dishwasher may smell after you put it in there. <laughs> Just remember... You'll never get rid of that smell. We told you don't do it. <laughs> it smells worse than trying to cremate a pet in an oven. I guess I got a problem. Oh, man. My dog keeps trying to eat it, but I have to put it up. <laughs> I was taking a drink, dick. <laughs> I think that would 
be the only knife you would ever have to worry about a dog trying to eat. (laughs) (laughs) The fecal knife by (laughs) Ryan. Okay, so uh, here's his secret lover. Uh, Sha Dynasty. That's his stage name. People keep thinking the Shady Nasty. Do you love her? Isn't that what we used to call the big and tasty? (laughs) What, shady nasty? (laughs) Or was it the big and nasty? What was it? Big and nasty. What the fuck is the big and tasty? Big and tasty is the old McDonald's version of the Whopper that they always tried to compete with it for like three years and then they dropped it like a hot rock. Basically, you take a quarter pound patty and you fucking fry it on that little McDonald's grill and then you put it on the bun. And you put ketchup, mayo, onion, pickle, lettuce, tomato. It's close lit. Let's be honest. It's not. It's not a burger. It's a meat disc. It's a flash meat disc. It's a flash frozen meat disc. It is a kangaroo disc now. Here's the thing, though. Get that straight. It's kangaroo meat at McDonald's now. <laughs> You're eating a. Uh, Oh, King Richard. There's. Yes. It's now, good. There's some McDonald's. I don't know if you can do it here in town. You can still get a McPizza. Yeah, yeah. There are some McDonald's that still sell the McPizza, and apparently they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I got one on vacation once. They were actually pretty damn good for like four ninety nine or something. Buy a McPizza at McDonald's. I really love her. <laughs> okay. McDonald's is paying us to say that. Yet. <laughs> hey, McDonald's. You want to pay some people and talk over a transvestite movie from the forties? Desires in the hopes that the new wife would never discover it. However, I bet that guy's just like you know. I studied ten years in Juilliard for this. An hour early. And this is my finest moment. She like, doesn't look mad. She's looking at him like, what else can I put him in? <laughs> she knows. You know that look. You know that look. Because you've probably had it a couple times. You got me. That was rude on that boy. It's either that look or the, how do you look better in that than me look? Yeah. <laughs> really, it's a toss-up. It was more like, not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Gotta change the locks on my wardrobe. You don't have the dog's cock in your mouth this time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man. What is it like in your head? That would be the most <laughs> fucked up Come into the house and walk in on. Yeah, but also from the standpoint of the person doing it, might do harm as taking that shit's like just lipstick, you know? Yeah. Smooth. Then they even carry their And then Fido of looks at it just like, the grave. I don't know, it's his idea. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I hope you like this yeah, riveting commentary on dog penises. <laughs> Remember back on We're going to get a huge jump from the furry community. <laughs> yeah, we are. Then asking, do you know where to find some videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> I'm sure they know where to go. Come on over here. For dog dick. Daily motion. What's he gonna do to this girl? Formal letter. Don't whip it up. Up. Oh, okay. That's part Formal of it. That, that's part of it. <laughs> the Cedar Point concession stand. <laughs> we do not talk about Cedar Point concession stand while we're discussing the formal letter. They don't go hand in hand. What if somebody did both? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Are you referring to the mythical Big Kahuna burger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the super angry mega chicken. <laughs> oh, he is lich. <laughs> they have the most unexciting romance. This is here, clutch me tight. Back then, because, because this was Ed- kinky shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because show me Ed- your arm. It's, it's Ed Wood, first of all. And that's not head. a guy. I'm so horny. Now I, now, I will say, Lady Gaga looks great here. I was wondering who that looked like. I wear my best to please you. She's a time traveler. She and Keanu Reeves are immortals. Where's her meat suit? That comes later. Yeah, that's... That's the show. This is before she went super nuts and thought that people could steal her creativity out of her vagina if she had sex with them. Wardrobe malfunctions. So you can hold me close to you always. 
Yeah. Malfunctions. You, you may see dangly parts on Lady Gaga. I prefer she is people. I will say, though, apparently she got her start after she was bullied in college, and there was a Facebook group calling her out saying, You will never be famous. <laughs> which, you know. Whoa! Way if, to trip over the rug there. Which, if the, if that's true, if you get good for her for sticking it to the people who told her she couldn't do it. Oh! If you get knocked out oh, oh, by a couch cushion, cushion. There it is. Puppy DuckTales. Puppy DuckTales. <laughs> oh, shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, Grandpa's just talking You know what? About For the last day. time, he is a grandpire. He's <laughs> a grandpa who happens to be a vampire. I really think he started that new, like, Egyptian eyebrow trend or whatever. You know, where they got, Which, like, the Which, if, if you haven't or... seen it yet... Sometimes go on YouTube and just search up Hardly Working Grandpire. Oh, God. It's super funny. <laughs> this was back when College Humor actually had, like, really good content. <laughs> what is happening here? Arguments made out by interpretive dance. <laughs> it's my turn to wear the fluff today. I want your loving and I want your uh -oh. revenge. You and me She's have a long. bad romance. <laughs> and here comes... I don't think that's how that works. Yes. <laughs> no, it is how Why it is works. Why is the fireplace crooked? Whoa! You're missing the subtext. This is clearly about why we should have gotten out of Vietnam earlier. This is or stayed in longer. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, now what they're saying here is that if you're a woman, you're weak. You're physically weak, and you shouldn't try to save people. That's why Ed uh -oh. was in the wrong. Ah! That's why we should kill Ed Wood. Oh, wait, he's dead. I like those Fuck. giant spoons hanging behind him. Oh, wait, those are lamps. Um, speaking of spoons, fun fact, if we get around to doing the room at some point, <laughs> if, I feel like, well, I feel like that'd have to be like a Patreon thing for people to see there, because fucking YouTube. Oh, God! There's Uncle Larry. But. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, let me get back. Let me Somebody get back. Somebody is that guy for Halloween. I will pay them one dollar. <laughs> let me get back on topic for a Film second. It all. Speaking of spoons, in the room, yeah. when you see all the like pictures sitting around, if you look at them, they're pictures of spoons. Why? Because all they did was go out and like buy picture frames and didn't bother to put actual pictures. In. Dear Lord. Anyway, God, Anton Lavey, yeah, good. Okay. Do you eat, little boy? Calm down, Grandpire. Puppy duck tails and big fat snails. Oh, dementia set in. You know he, you know he tried to do comedy. Take his meds today. Someone's gonna like babysit him. Yeah. No, it's fine. Like put him back in his room. Just have somebody that nods and says everything's gonna be okay. Yes, yes, green dragon, right. Oh, whoa! I've seen the green dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the jolly green dragon. Oh, wow, he's he's getting in on some of this s and airline shit. Whoa. Get him! Yeah! He doesn't see, have the Indiana see. Jones technique. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. It, like, he's just showing that daddy's belt gets better with age. Wow. <laughs> it is true. It is true. <laughs> right. See, I don't know if they're telling her to be a little demanding or seductive here. I can't figure that out. What the hell is happening here? I'm sure it will go. Oh, she's got the vapors? Who let Vampire into the porn stage? Well, okay. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay. There's a... Uh, yeah. Woo! Vintage bikini. That's, that's scandalous. Oh my eyes, I've got the vapors. See, that's how people seduced everybody back then. <laughs> it's not like now when you scream penis me, please, at people. <laughs> Dracula just had a stare at you. 
I mean, <laughs> listen, he hasn't had any since 1280. <laughs> Okay, here's a sure. bamboo pole going on. I think they painted that closet reel just to look like a bamboo pole. <laughs> oh, a woman reclining! No! Nip slip, nip slip, nip slip. It's almost there. Nope. You're gonna see a couple because she's got four of them bad boys. Free the Ed Wood too! Free the like Ed Wood too! He's like, Ed, what is my motivation here? You're right. writhing on a couch. Rive! Rive! <laughs> Do it for me! Just look like you're coming. That's, that's what that was. You're not gonna whip me again. No, we just oh. have to tie you. Okay, it's Wonder Woman. When did this become a Yeah. <laughs> when when Edward decided that there needed to be some light bondage. <laughs> Do not question the wood. The wood. I think I've heard that in a porno once. The wood knows all. The, don't question the wood. The wood knows all. I feel like that would be in one of the shitty, like, wood rocket parodies. <laughs> If anybody here works at Wood Rocket, get better fucking writers. This is how Joker and Harley Quinn always work things out. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> sir, that's more of a Harley Quinn Poison Ivy thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> they had an on-again, off-again lesbian relationship. It's in the comics. Yes, it is. Who do you we think didn't was see that in Batman and Robin. Who do you think was the man in that relationship? If you have any opinion one way or the other, like, comment, and subscribe. Because <laughs> I don't think YouTube can do shit about this. Public domain, baby! Woo! <laughs> oh, dear lord. Oh, and now we got the really scandalous one. She shouldn't the ragtag music. She showed belly button. Oh, oh my yeah. god, how is how is that happening? I'm gonna lose a little cum. <laughs> I think I just felt something run down my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this doing anything for you? Uh, just throwing this out there for you two. Uh, you know they're probably grandmas at this point in time, right? If they're still alive. No, it takes a way, way, <laughs> way longer. I mean, <laughs> like, like, we're, we're like three the, belly buttons. Yeah. Well, you know, we're we're in the the modern age here. There like, has I've to be a midget involved for her. A lot of things on the internet. Oh, so am I. <laughs> oh, so am I. A midget or someone in paper mache et clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. There's already been the Bowsette porn parody. Or in my sister's case, a chicken suit and a lawnmower has to be involved. <laughs> what about that one with the guy that had elephant balls? Oh yeah, and he just kind of unleashed and you can watch him shrink. His... <laughs> yeah, yeah he just was... kept on shooting. Yeah. Now listen, if you really want to feel like you have to go to church after, <laughs> after an experience, there's this Japanese porn actor. He's 27. Is it the helicopter guy? No, but no. due to a... Uh, <laughs> that guy was a... Due, guy due was to a genetic know, defect right? he's, he's had since birth, he looks like he's eight, <laughs> but he is like he like he's about Vern Troyer levels of height. <laughs> but this man is twenty-seven. This scene's making me uncomfortable because she looks like she's about to fall off the couch and it's gonna like push her back up there. Yeah. Well, the Just only thing holding second, uh, her up hold is on. this neat little rod <laughs> stuck between his legs. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call that neat little rod. <laughs> Just constantly like pull, pulling up like this, like no, that doesn't come off. You can actually kind of see it through her dress a couple times. She knows she wants it. She's just you're, fighting him off. You're such a hot worse. now 95 Look at year it, they're old making woman. out like crazy. I mean, see, he subscribes to the Sean Connery school of thought, where 47 knows and the yes means yes. Yeah. Well, she should have been wearing that. <laughs> See, that Ooh, a hard stance taken here! 
That came from a female, too. <laughs> At the dust white nest. Which is what we're calling this now until we have a proper dust white nest. Grab her by the okay. pussy. <laughs> you, can do, you, can do, you can do anything when you got huge hands like mine. Huge. Huge. Go! Oh. Hey. Pop in. Man, this has more pop in than a fucking PS1 game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Pepe Sofia. Jesus Christ. I always knew you'd fail me, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> There's another pop in. Clink. <laughs> oh. Jesus. We're all gonna murder you now. I feel like you were watching this when you came up for the ending for those scripts. <laughs> and here's where. Wait. A Goliath! Somebody dresses him for Halloween, I swear. Like the haircut and all. You gotta shake your head, except for those two spots. Just creep around town, film it. Who <laughs> let Uncle Ivan out of his cellar? <laughs> Somebody have a lot of fun with that. Get the suit, the whole nine yards. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Pop out. Thank you, PS1. <laughs> I don't see the difference. This either. remake of Grand Theft Auto 2 sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I gotta say, this is the most uninteresting treatment of Shimmer's list I've seen. Kentucky seen. Waterfall should have been applied. You, you, you want to go into that? <laughs> what, the she mullet? It would have been great in the 50s. <laughs> Get a nice Randy Travis going. You would have walked into a town and ran out in a split second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so he just keeps... A... This is implying that this guy just keeps a fucking blackboard back there. And writing that. Yeah. There's nothing psychotically wrong with that. I don't know if I like this rendition of Born This Way. Well, there is... Yep, there's the dude. Back in my day, I was friends with Leonard. Dare you to walk, go to work like him one day. Oh, I totally do it. dare you. Do it. That's a nice <laughs> porno chair. It's See, the chair would do the work for you. It's called a sex recliner. It's yeah, obviously it's just a chair on its side. <laughs> the chair would then, do its work for People it. back then were creative. They at least knew how to make a sexual point out of the chairs. Yeah, exactly. This is doesn't suffer from that very sexy learning disorder. Uh, oh fuck, Futurama had to work for it. <laughs> Sex watch you, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, so many fingers. So much. Mm. What so the many fingers, fuck? So little time. <laughs> There's a toothless bitch laughing down there. What the hell is that? She's like missing her front teeth. Oh, wow, that is back up. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, my yeah. dreams. Hi, sexy. Okay. <coughs> Man! Alright. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, we just want yep. you to do the spirit finger. Alright, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna have Satan show up while this guy is trying to not be attacked by the tickle monster. <laughs> Don't worry, this is for art. This is this all means you something somehow. Big, 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 <laughs> so is he the dragon? Oh, uh, no, for the last time, that's Uncle Ivan. Damn. She's paying attention. Dick! Well, I can't get past the horny Kramer hair. This <laughs> <laughs> is well-established lore. I thought you would have understood that by now. It sounds like the Seinfeld parody of the porn would be like, Horny Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even give him the Kramer, just call him Horny Kramer. <laughs> the Wooniverse is very complex and nuanced, and I wish you would take it as the masterpiece it is. I, A masterpiece of what oh, the yeah. fuck are we doing here? Exactly. And now he looks like the drummer from Spinal Tap. <laughs> okay, this is the drummer from Spinal Tap. Linda has made the decision. 
The white Glenn RuPaul. has decided to tell Barbara of his dual personality. <laughs> By that, I Some just mean RuPaul. The and negligees, <laughs> the sweaters and skirts, the robes and dresses, the stockings and the high heel shoes, the wig and the makeup. All the things <laughs> to make Glenn. And Glenn. <laughs> That's why it's a bit funny every time it gets hard, huh? <laughs> it, it goes at a perfect 90 degree angle. It's been this weird. Becoming really good friends with Key Lazarus. And slowly. I need you to appreciate that one. I like that. I don't know about a lot of people that do it. I'm the type that would do that slick, tuck it into the waistband thing when I get a weird boner in public. Oh, yeah. No, what you do is you just let it slide out the bottom of the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so it just dry rubs against your thigh and your pants all day. And then if you're sitting here, you're just like, that's right, that's me. <laughs> I hold no shame. <laughs> I mean, listen. I sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I find it works better with shorts. Because I can be like, yeah, I'm packing, so what? <laughs> I like to do short shorts and then it looks like a little mouse just poking out of a hole and go back in. <laughs> <laughs> First thing I do if I ever see that on you is punching it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till your guard is down and you're getting bombed. <laughs> like even put a little mousy face on it so it just comes out like whoop. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. When you're touching his dick and that makes it hella gay. <laughs> you would have to say no homo. I'm not the guy that was in that jackass skit where he's got the strap on in his pants and he reaches out and like literally flicks it to make sure it's real. I'm not that guy. I'm punching it to make it go down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're still touching his dick. <laughs> There's still penile skin touching fist. <laughs> Is it gay to punch a dick? I, I mean, have you ever punched your friend it, in the balls or dick? Maybe yeah. We Is it gay out. to punch him? I've seen this man strip another man. Yeah. Completely. I am not the person that you should be asking about that. I had to sit there and watch that. <laughs> you chose to watch it. You could have got up and left the room. I went like this and all I just see is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some point I said, look at it. So this movie's still going, by the way. Yeah, this movie's still We're, going. Am I the only one watching? <laughs> no, I'm watching too. We were just talking about all the, all the like weirdly homoerotic things I do. The only homoerotic thing that anyone should be doing is watching a man <laughs> It's true. But see, I never learned to have that social filter. And it's, it's been a detriment most times. No more than he's a pseudo hermaphrodite. Glenn's case was entirely brought on by the environment. Which is to say, not at all. What about their children, Doctor? Uh, would their children uh, become the same way their father is? Yes. No. Transvestism. Oh, totally. Hereditary. Well, what makes these men want Especially if their father, clothes? like, whips them every time they try to put on but clothes before, appropriate Yeah. Is this some sort of, like, eugenics thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, um, basically the whole premise of this was, was, like, Ed Wood was, like, super into crushes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't they're know. like discussing if, yeah. like, if it's hereditary. They're right? shedding yeah. light on it. Yeah. It's just the personality of the person, and it should be accepted the way because it's just how the person is. Yeah, yeah. which is why I said before it started, for when this was created, for, for when this movie was made, well, it's very progressive. That's why I asked if it was a eugenic thing, because I know around the same time period that was a huge deal. Yeah. That, that's why Planned Parenthood got started. That was, it was The founder was a big proponent of eugenics. Yeah. And we know how well that worked. And, and <laughs> those who do not know what eugenics is, it's, uh, it's like castrating those who they think are not. Um, if they have like alcoholism or some sort of defect that could be carried to the child, well, yeah, they don't want that, so they yeah. want to castrate yeah, that, you. That, that's what it got into. Uh, when it was, the, the basic idea was. Maybe we should only let smart people with desired traits, you know, get that box. Hitler, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Hitler. I also heard from somebody that was in the military, they said if you got caught masturbating in a submarine three times, they would chemically castrate you. <laughs> Except for Jerry, he just likes Because it has to be ice. like an enclosed environment and there shouldn't be anything like that. Yeah, it'll clog the drains. I mean, if you, you know, don't have the window, really good you gotta clean that shit. 
a streak. Right? He yeah. Shot into that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They were like they were fucking into <laughs> Like it. Yeah, yeah, it 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 Hit, Hitler had a portrait of Ford. On his weekend passes, he did. He'd go to the nearest town where he had a suitcase checked in a public locker. So anyway, here's more transvestites. In the suitcase, he had the things he loved to wear, that which made his body appear to be what his mind believed it was. Unfortunately, that no beard did nothing for him. Oh, oh. mound of flesh and bone. No, so they're they're talking about an actual case. Here. This was one of, yeah, I believe the first case of successful male to female uh, transition surgery. Yeah. Yeah. That's why this movie was originally called like Transition Sex. Yeah. That and it was to try to appeal to a younger audience. Yep. Because if you look at the posters, sex is a much bigger word. Yeah. So it kind of came out as changed by sex! Yeah. No, it's yeah. changed my sex. <laughs> Girl! Sucks! Okay, gotta make it dangerous. So now I think we're on that guy in MASH, right? That always cross-dressed in MASH. Is that what they're doing here? Uh, no, <laughs> this is unaired footage from uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> what people don't realize is that was done in the sexual memory. Where's the Bubba Gump shirt, please? That's an actual chain. I know. <laughs> I want to go to one. I do too. Can we can road trip it? If anybody that. watching this knows where you can find uh, Bubba Gump, let us know. Did you have so many? I know there's I one in a. Uh, I know there's definitely one in uh, the tourist trap then town. As uh, quickly as it had begun. Tennessee. Uh, what is that? Pigeon Al Ford or something? Game home. Yeah. Yeah, I know there's I definitely one there. The I've been to Pigeon no, Ford no, so many no, fucking times that I never ever saw it. Yeah, it's in that little downtown area where all the moonshine distillery things are. We might need to go to see one of these days. Yeah. Let's go, road trip. Let's go now. And even better, let's, let's go now. <laughs> all right. We can do the Santa Claus hat game. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, like, I'm very particular about what I'm drinking. <laughs> there followed many It'll probably be with my clinical Mad Dog reports 2020. and the reports of eminent. You know, MD doesn't stand for Mad Dog. It, right up. it stands for muscular dystrophy. Google it. I forget what it is now, but it blew my mind when I realized Snow Mad Dog 2020, when it, on the front label, when it says MD 2020, it does not stand for Mad Dog. <laughs> if you can find it, uh -huh. since he said Mad Dog. It's probably going to be a VHS form. Okay. <laughs> but if we ever want to watch some like, really shitty early 90s anime, uh, find Mad Bull 34. It was up to us to oh, God. That mistake one way or the other. I think I told Alan you about it. But in case you haven't heard of, heard of it, man, I'm going to say to three man. words Both were completely until you draw your own conclusion. Small bone, man of complexion. No. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Like a woman's Hand grenade copies. Girl. That's your only clue as to what the see. fuck happens in that movie. Along with the fact that uh, you've been brought up can you run that by me again? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I can. Alan decided to be Hand. Uh -huh. Grenade. Uh -huh. After all the help I could give him was only the beginning. Gotcha. Makes <laughs> During the following two years, you have to go through <laughs> the Believe me. No, there, <laughs> there's context <laughs> for it. He knew that at the end of it all, I'll buy 20. I, pro yeah. I promise <laughs> there's context <laughs> for it. Hundreds of hormones. But I can't explain it. Various parts of his body. <laughs> There's the face was worked if you can find it, though. To smooth out the female elements. Then for God's sake. Hours of work. See, Gladys here refused to be in our film, so he roofied her. The big yeah. death. Or so the she was in our film regardless. We turned her into a forge. Do you, do you, do you like our bellows? To prevent any She's now an artifact creature. Power and toughness, Still, four, four. <laughs> day after day. Uh, yeah, for, for four mana, you can flip her. <laughs> and even uh, then, when the doesn't do anything, actually, you can do it. It transforms into a gargantuan hell beast. 25-25, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with trample, haste, reach. Also has shroud. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah, just because. The body of the woman within begins to appear now. You can pay. Well, no, you can destroy a land. Make her unblockable. Because I know that's something that would go in your deck, you weird motherfucker. <laughs> you know me too well. 
That's why I'm so easy to read. So he's yeah. thinking about it, he's getting a race. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're, they're oh, still... Like sexual assaults? <laughs> Sure I need an adult. <laughs> they are adults. He starts getting sexual over magic cards. We have a problem. Yeah. We got a Cosby in the room. Well, he can't help get hard if you're just rubbing his nipples. <laughs> Don't get hard. 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 Don't come. You're, like, super, you're super double gay. It's like come. after you get it hard, you put the ceiling fan down to it. <laughs> we'll get hard to... <laughs> and just so you know, we attach razor blades to the sides. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so there's Who no... are you again? I'm you, but... I'm the guy directing you in the movie. Go away. You're not my dealer. Ah! Uh, so he's a force vampire. There's nothing wrong with those. And jump up. What? And You're the droid I was looking for! <laughs> and the magic of cinema. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Oh, that's hot. Okay. So... It looks like Eric Foreman. Yeah, kind of. I was gonna mention this earlier, but I totally forgot to. Uh, he wanted to do comedy. Oh, God. <laughs> Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. I have that somewhere. <laughs> Find it. Very happy, lovely young lady. It's I, modern it is horrid. I don't know if it's public domain. It is. It is. It's, oh, is it? It is definitely public domain. Try to block that one too, YouTube! <laughs> public domain, you can't do a damn thing about it. Unless I were to say something disparaging about those funny types. However, right here, in this particular section, it's not the end. Um... Mimes. Oh, I thought he was going to say Trump voters. Come here. Listen, I, I've been around long enough to know that you don't say that unless you want just a big old shit storm in the comments. <laughs> The proper walk must be a Though I want to thank our one diehard commenter. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You doing good? Yeah, one diehard commenter we have. Yeah, he's badass. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in my Discord. He is. He is badass. Always commenting. Every video we post. Yeah, it all. He's basically taking your job. And was indeed meant to be a woman. Now that the sex change has been completed, and a very happy woman. For the woman, extreme just so, just so you know, doing God's work. Accepted by society. A woman <laughs> born just so you know, like a vagina, I do secrete from this area a lot. Four years. Don't tell Riddle. Oh, that's, that's so sexy. <laughs> 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 I secrete. I secrete every day. <laughs> What's worse, secrete or ooze? They're both pretty bad. If, if we're talking about the vagina, I don't know if I want to hear ooze or secrete. So I'm putting that balance. I have I've never, I've never heard in a porno just my colleagues may have hunted. You are oozing. <laughs> you are. What you about the frog? You are secreting so much. <laughs> Show me that big frothing gas. <laughs> That's bad. Frothing. <laughs> Froy over here has radies or something, man. Radies? Yeah, radies. So, so if, you want, if you want to class it up, you put on your best worst accent and go, Oh, I love. Show us him, Inge. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to write that into a script now. I am secreting even though one of the sex is. Guess a look at your Inge, love. Go on! Pip-pip! Glenn's case is entirely different type. No, Minji! Remember I said... Shut it down, you donk! No problem, Leela. Catch it, Wound. Glenn's body holds only one sex. That of the man. Okay, so now they're getting around to talking to this guy. Gomez Adams here is just teaching them all. So, and then he's there. I don't know who that guy was. Just so you know, I'm breaking hero. confidentiality or a between the patients player. by talking to a detective. So that he could brag to his yep. ponies down at the corner well, back saloon. Back then, I don't think they had that. They didn't even believe in, like, 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 putting on gloves or yeah. like, handling evidence. Exactly. Character. 
Oh look, this is a bloody piece of glass from the crime scene. Oh look, I cut myself with it. Oh well, it's not like that's tainted or anything. Doctor said I got HIV. Don't know what show. I'm gonna smoke another cigarette though. Oh, I also got lung cancer. Oh, the boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess because this town got enough for that more Asians. <laughs> As a disclaimer, we have nothing against people of color. That's just something they would say back then. But as the author and his character, the elements must be right. If we were against people of color, we would go down to South Africa where that stuff still flies. Oh no, man! Apparently, the Zulu people are. Uh, <laughs> They're partnering up with the white farmers who are getting all their land taken. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, uh, put that one through the old mine grinder. Yeah. Glenda must be transferred to you. Supposing Glenn never gets over wearing girls' clothing. Would it matter? He's always wearing. He's always tucking. <laughs> and then he started Glenn. peeing on everything. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, that's the Marcus territory. <laughs> that's a dominance thing. In the middle of the night, he likes to flick on the light, stand on the mattress beside me, and pee on my face. <laughs> that's that's a sign of trust. That's that's him showing that he trusts you enough to pee on your face. <laughs> In the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. It's an every night thing. The end is only the beginning. How does that car have a turning radius? Time I don't know. So uh, check this out. Life. Movie's not near over yet. And Barbara's love and I don't know, man. That, that fucking, should a radio have an exhaust Glenn. port? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's for, near the window, and it has an exhaust pipe. <laughs> that's, that's for all that clean, burning coal you put in there, so you can get... yank the cable in the back to yeah. start it up. <laughs> so you can get... <laughs> Let's see, you need the exhaust pipe, so you can put in your coal, so you can get those exotic channels from the film. hundreds of other less fortunate friends, the world over. Puffs out that really healthy black smoke. There we go. Oh, that guy's a litter bug. Hi, Grandpire! How you doing, buddy? Oh, Steven Seagal on him. Oh, man, Wanna read about the good old days of he's World War One? He's pretending to read. <laughs> <laughs> I was allowed for the first crusade. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, see? This is a movie that I'm in. Less fortunate. I really plans. hope this wasn't the last film he did. The world. No. No, he did Bright of the Monster after this one. And Plan then he did, Nine, he died during the right. beginning of Plan Nine. Yeah. Oh, Man, they needed to have him. Spent for the rest of the I still need to see the remake of Plan 9 with AVG in it. He's only got a small girl. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, that's true. So, I guess there's an extended cut where they basically redo the entire movie where they talk about Alan or Ann. <laughs> Alan Ann. <laughs> so what, looks a lot like... Wait, so, Glenn Glenda was Daniel Davis. Huh. It's almost like Ed Wood didn't want people to know he was starring in his own movie. <laughs> and now, the Cannibalistic Dust Mite proudly presents our final thoughts. Brought to you by Ashley's Unflinching House of Torment. Voted number one physical therapy establishment in Brinesville Monthly. Tell them the Dust Mite sent you and get a free back stomping courtesy of Ashley herself. And now, back to our program. Some experiments just shouldn't be done. For example, that should not have been done. And this has been Ideas with our host here. Or co-host, I should We're say. We're supposed to be talking about Glenn or Glenda. Glenn or Glenda. That's far. I love Glenn or Glenda. It was so-so. Let's say, one out of ten or ten out of ten? Um, I would say four Bella Lugosi's out of three. Four Bella Lugosi's out of three is an excellent score. That's Fraction well. I would have to say, I heard a buffalo inadvertently cut in on nowhere out of ten. 
A herd of buffalo inadvertently cut out of nowhere out of ten is a perfect score. And I would give it four uncircumcised planar warts out of ten. I don't like that you said that. I'm going to give it a very pretty Ed Wood out of ten. Yes. Call a very me. pretty Ed Wood out of ten. Call me. I think he's dead. Shut up, call me. He died in the 70s. Call me. He's rotted away. He can't call you. On that, we will say goodnight. Roll the credits.